Court documents reveal a nightmare scenario in the air. Passengers on commercial flights say they were sexually assaulted by fellow passengers. One of the cases, a Norwegian Airlines flight from London to Seattle. The suspect, Babak Rezapur, is accused of assaulting the passenger next to him, touching her inappropriately repeatedly and forcing contact while she slept. The second case involves a March Alaska flight from Anchorage. The suspect, Nicholas Matthew Stevens, who's a registered sex offender, is accused of harassing another passenger, first making strange comments to her, then initiating unwanted physical contact. So often victims, especially initially, are thinking, am I imagining this? Am I overreacting? Mary Ellen Stone of King County Sexual Assault Resource Center joined the U.S. Attorney's Office and FBI at a news conference this afternoon to raise awareness about an issue that appears to be on the rise. We have seen roughly a 30 percent increase in cases opened by the FBI over a four-year period. Most recently in the last six months since we started this awareness campaign, we've seen an increase. We know that these things have happened on our planes, but there hasn't necessarily been uh, a willingness from people to either come forward or believe that the FBI or other local law enforcement would take these issues seriously and stop this from happening. So this awareness campaign by the FBI is very helpful. Taylor Garland of the Association of Flight Attendants based in Washington, D.C., says a recent survey found one in five flight attendants reported hearing about passenger-on-passenger -passenger sexual assault while working a flight. Washington Senator Patty Murray is one of the lawmakers who has urged the Department of Transportation to take a closer look at this problem and come up with updated guidelines for the airline industry. There's not as many options when you're 30,000 feet in the air, and these policies and procedures need to take into, re into account the reality of the aircraft cabin. Now, the federal budget deal passed back in March included a provision that directs the Department of Transportation to create a national in-flight sexual assault task force to examine some of these issues and come up with new guidelines. As for the passengers, people can be extremely vulnerable on flights, especially if they're sleeping or taking medication or drinking alcohol. The FBI urges passengers to maintain awareness, use the armrest as a barrier, and report any and all suspicious activity that occurs and that goes for other passengers as well who might witness inappropriate conduct. Back to you.